Hey guys, this is Joey at Rose City Reptiles and today we are going to discuss how we set up and care for our gargoyle geckos. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is temperature. We keep our gargoyles in between 70 and 82 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out. Here's a gauge I keep in the room. As you can see, it's reading 79.2 degrees and 70% humidity. So temperature, second thing is humidity. Um, we like a humidity range from 90% to 50%. You don't want to keep it 90% all the time and you don't want to keep it 50% all the time. So what we do here is we do a heavy misting in the evening, okay, that raises the humidity up when they're the most active and then it dries out a little bit throughout the day and that humidity lowers. We also have a humidifier in the room to help out with that as well. Now that we've got temperature and humidity down, let's talk about diet. Now for their food, we really like to feed Pangea, okay? It's a great, complete diet. The geckos love it, and they've thrived over the years uh, that we've used it. And so we also supplement, uh, especially our young gargoyles and our adults, especially the females when they're laying, we supplement with insects. Um, we'll feed our babies that were growing up and our juveniles crickets once a week and we feed our adults just as needed once a month once every other week and for sure after a female lays to help out with that calcium intake and protein intake now as far as water goes we actually don't keep a water bowl in their enclosure you can no harm but what we've noticed is that when we spray them down in the evenings they will lick the water off the sides of their enclosures or off the fixtures that are in their enclosures and that gives them plenty of the uh, water that they need for the day. So now we've talked about temperature, humidity, and diet. Let's go ahead and see how we keep our gargoyle geckos set up. You can keep them in a glass aquarium or you can keep them in a plastic tote. In an aquarium, I suggest an 18 by 18 by 24. A 12 by 12 by 24 will also work for a single adult, but I think more space, the better. We keep our guys in these plastic totes. Now you'll notice that there's lots of places to climb, places to hide. I like to keep cork bark in every single enclosure. It helps with shedding and humidity. I also have a box right here for females to lay their eggs in. That also helps with shedding. It's nice and moist in there. I use sphagnum moss um, inside the egg laying boxes. Um, also, I keep cocoa fiber as, as my substrate. You can use paper towels. You can use other substrates. There's different options. There's more than one way to be successful with these guys. But this is just what we've done over the years, and this is what um, has worked for us. So, this is how we like to have them set up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy looking at super cool animals and learning more about them.